In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the control room in Cubase for your monitor outputs and your headphone outputs. First, what you need to do is go to this little control room tab. You've got your VSTI, media, control room, meter. So on the control room tab, select it. Then you go up to the studio menu, audio connections. And if you're not using the control room, then you're probably just using the regular output. You can't use the regular output and the control room output simultaneously. So if you go to the control room and you try to create a monitor output, then assign that monitor output to monitor left and it'll warn you. It'll say it's already assigned to your output. Continue. Same with the right. Continue. And then you have your monitor output and then you're able to add inserts and things like that to your monitor output so say i want to add um sonar works i'll put sonar works later down the chain and then say i want mastering the mixed levels i'll put that there and then i want uh, tonal balance control. Set that to fine. So then I've got all these different sort of monitoring solutions for my speakers plus the speaker calibration. So they're all just there, set it, forget it. And then if I want to set up a separate headphone connection where I have an output that goes to the headphones that doesn't have the speaker calibration. Right click in the control room, add headphone. Depending on your interface, it could be three and four, or it could be nine and 10 on the uh, UA Apollo. It's nine and 10. And then I'll just turn this down. I should be getting a headphone output here. Yeah, so I'm getting a clear headphone output. And then you can add your separate sort of can opener and real phones or VSX and things like that. So if you're using sleep VSX, you can add it there. So it'll be processing your headphone output. Sonar works will be processing your monitor output. On UA console, what you need to do is set this to mix, source to mix, hue output to headphone for when you're uh, wanting to monitor the DAW through the headphone. When you're just listening to system audio, you want to switch it back to mix so that you can hear your speaker output coming through. Or in this case, just the main output. Um, so yeah, in the outputs, the default outputs for the Apollo Twin, are uh, 9 and 10, or the headphone outputs. So in the case of, in the case of QBase, that's these ones, and those two are 3 and 4. It just depends on how you want to route it, but yeah. So hopefully that helps some people figure out uh, how to properly route your audio to get a separate headphone output. Um, it should be similar on different interfaces. Three and four, I think, usually is the, the output for the headphones, but you might need to check on the control panel for your particular audio interface. But yeah, hopefully that helps someone. Cheers.